Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising again. Today we're going to talk about how to make your own hydrogen water. I'm actually making this video due to a video that I watched, I believe it's by a channel called Glenn Ingram or something along those lines. And he was showing people how to make their own hydrogen water, but he was using like hydrogen sticks and boiling water and some other kind of a chemical reaction. And the reason I felt compelled to have to respond to the video is actually because doing it that way is not actually healthy for you. He was drinking the water and saying that it's for your health. And the problem is that in Japan, they have proven with long-term studies now that causing a chemical reaction and drinking that water is not actually good for you in the long term. If you were to use it just a little bit or sparingly, there might be some benefits to it but it's really not the best way to do it. Uh, the other thing is, is also electrolyzed water is also not good for you in the long term. So these are just other methods of making hydrogen water. So I'm going to show you how to make hydrogen water in a very simple manner that is actually healthy and safe for everybody. And that includes pregnant women, elderly, um, people on medications with medical issues, stuff like that. And that's basically what the Lord does. So I mean, I have my little machine right here and, it, and it's it's on standby right now, but basically it's a real simple way to make hydrogen water. All you do is, there is two chambers. So up here, let me see if I can grab the camera and show you. See up here, what's actually going on here is that you have a chamber right here. And that's where you wanna put water that has minerals in it, maybe like a spring water or something. And it goes through the chamber. I think I'm getting a terrible angle here. And then the water goes down here and causes like a special type of, it's an electrolysis process, but the, the thing is, is that this pitcher has a special membrane. And when the water that is actually in the pitcher, for example, is water that you're going to drink, but this water is not actually going to be electrolyzed. Only the water in the chamber will be, but then it goes, like I said, through a membrane. And when it goes through this membrane, it's just releasing the gas into the water. And so the reason that this is really a good way to do it, well, one, it's safe. That's the thing, you know, th this water in this pitcher that you're actually going to be drinking is again, not electrolyzed and there's no chemicals in it. There's no uh, hydrogen or I'm sorry, magnesium sticks or anything other, anything else to cause a chemical reaction. So that's not happening. This water is just pure water and the gas is being released into it. So the nice thing about this too is um, there's actually a doctor that, that actually contacted me many, many months ago, but he wanted to learn about this machine and he ended up actually purchasing one of these because he was purchasing hydrogen water and you can buy it like in these little pouches and I don't know how much it costs, but it's something like between three, four and five dollars a pouch. And he said he was just spending hundreds of dollars a month uh, for this water. And here, once you get a unit, yeah, you know, maybe the units aren't super inexpensive i mean they're not like five thousand dollars or anything but you know they're about 1100 bucks i think or so and these units once you have them i can make two liters of hydrogen water for pennies i mean I, and i can make it for years and years and years it's it's really the most efficient way to make your hydrogen water i originally started at the beginning i, I was trying to make hydrogen water on my own and when i basically found out about many different units which i studied this one was really ended up being the best one in many, you know, for many reasons, but this is just the best way to make your hydrogen water and make it safely and easy. It's a lot like a coffee maker. You don't have to hook it up to your pipes, you know, and have water filters and you can put any kind, you want, any kind of water you want in this pitcher. I have some friends that actually go and get, you know, clean spring water from a good solid source. I personally filter my water and then I run it through a distiller and then I mineralize the water and then I put it in here so that it's very, very good, clean water. But yeah, you have that option instead of just having to use the tap water. So I wanted to make this video and just show people, you know, how to, how they can make their own hydrogen water at home. This machine's always running, you know, here in my house. I leave it on standby usually. I'll come and take a couple sips. I'll drink about this much water. And then later on in the day, whenever I'm thirsty again, it's just always there. It's super easy. I don't have to be putting bottles in the refrigerator. I don't have to be waiting for the chemical reaction or even drinking anything with these, you know, magnesium sticks that are from China. I mean, I just, I'm not sure if I would trust something like that, you know, at this time with everything that's been going on. And uh, this is just kind of a reliable way. I think the biggest thing is just the kind of water that you use, but that's up to the individual. So yeah, it's just super simple. And 
I hope that you guys found this information helpful. But yeah, this is a great way to make your own hydrogen water and you can make tons of it and you can consume, you know, as much as you want. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the information and we'll see you next time on the next video.